Lamont Roach Jr. versus Fiergel McQuarrie. 12 rounds in the 130-pound division. Let's get into it. Let's start with Lamont Roche Jr. 24 wins, one loss, one draw, nine wins by way of knockout. After his loss to Jamel Hearing back in 2019, man, I felt like Roche has bounced back in a lot of positive ways. Not just, you know, getting back into the win column, but I think he's improved and just become an all-around better boxer. I thought his recent two performances looked really good to me. You know, when he fought Eniel Rodriguez, you know, Roach showed more of a aggressive version of himself. You know, usually he's a guy that kind of stays on the back foot a little bit. But against Rodriguez, like he was on the front foot applying pressure, even though he wasn't always throwing a whole lot, especially in the early part of the fight. He was making Rodriguez think, you know, he was fainting. He was level changes to just try to get him to bite. And so even though he wasn't throwing a whole lot, the pressure that he was putting forth psychologically, I felt like he had Rodriguez right where he wanted him to be. Roach isn't the biggest puncher like that, but I think he's a very accurate puncher and he's got good timing and the right shot at the right time in the right place can actually make his shots be felt a little bit more and feels like it's pa packing more of a punch. And you could also tell that Roach didn't really you know, respect the power of Aniel Rodriguez, you know, so he just came forward and walked forward with confidence on that front foot. And he caught him with a counter check hook in the fifth round, I believe it was, that almost dropped Rodriguez. I mean, Roach was in complete control of that fight, man. And he ended up getting a wide decision victory in the end, but I thought he looked great. I like a more aggressive front foot version of Lamont Roach Jr. He would go after that to fight for the title against Lewis Hector Garcia, you know, someone who was coming off of a loss himself. Um, and we didn't really, you know, we weren't really sure what type of version of him was going to come, especially, you know, when he got stopped by Tank. And then he was saying like, man, I know I'm, I, it took, I lost my hearing when I was fighting Tank, but you know, it was a fight that it was going to showcase a lot about Lamont Roche Jr. Because Garcia, even though he did suffer his first loss to Tank, man, he's fought some tough guys at 130. You know, how he got the title, it wasn't an easy pathway for Garcia. He's fought the top level guys in the division at that time, and he came away on top. So I felt like we had a better understanding of the full, complete package of Hector Garcia. So when we were fighting Lamont Roach Jr., it was going to show us how good was he? How would he fare against the top contenders? When he fought one of the top contenders in the division in Jamal Herring, he came up a little bit short. So this was a different version of Roach, a more mature version of him, and a more skillful version. On the night, you know, Lamont Roach really did his thing. You know, he scored... Uh, the fight ended up being a split decision, but I thought it was a clear victory for Lamont Roche, like a unanimous decision victory, especially with Roche getting that knocked down in the 12th round and really coming on strong in those championship rounds. Felt like Garcia in the early part of the fight, you know, he won a bunch of those early rounds, but I felt Roach came on late, came on strong late, had some great moments, got the knockdown, and really put himself in a position to really separate himself to win the title. But some rounds are very close, man. It was just a good all-around technical fight. Both guys were making good adjustments early on. Uh, Garcia was landing some nice uppercuts with the left hand and he was countering him well, very well in the early part of the fight. But Roach, you know, showed that IQ, showed those improvements and started making the adjustments. And he was the one that was starting to counter very well. And he was the one that was finding ways to get through the guard and the defense of Garcia. I think he did a good job of creating his own offense and creating his own openings in the fight, man. It was just a very good fight. And it was kind of one of those full circle type of fights, you know, and he got himself the win and became a champion on the night. On the night, I went against Roach in that fight, but I left thinking like, man, this guy's gotten so much better. And it was a very impressive performance. You know, I think um, I think Roach is continuing to improve. He's a, he's, he's a tough and skillful fighter. And, you know, he's big for 130 as well, too. Like when he when he rehydrates, I'd be curious to see how much he does come in at. you know, my guesstimation, probably 140, 145, somewhere there. But against Garcia, he looked big against Rodriguez. He looked big. 
but he's got great conditioning as well too good shin man you know if he had a little bit more power behind him man he would be a even that much more dangerous in the division but you know he's the champion now he's in a great positioning to maybe even get a unification fight if he can get past McQuarrie on the night so let's talk about his opponent Fiergel McQuarrie 16 wins no losses eight wins by way of knockout the Irish southpaw personally this is the first time that I'm hearing about McQuarrie and when I turn on the tape and watch his fights I mean he's got good size looks like a strong fighter you know he likes to fight on the inside kind of depending on his strength and just being the more physical fighter he comes forward likes to be on that front foot puts together decent combinations he goes to the body pretty decently um his most recent fight was against carlos carlson he stopped him in three rounds i believe smothered carlson with pressure and consistent body shots and he kind of just wore carlson down and carlson just didn't have enough to keep up with it um I've seen tapes of Carlson when he's knocking cats out with the left hand. Still not sure what his power is really like because the level of competition that he's faced like hasn't really been that stellar, honestly. He does seem like a strong-willed fighter, a physical fighter. Um, but, you know, it, it, it's going to be interesting to see how he does perform on the night because this is a big step up for Fear Girl McQuarrie. Um, and he's actually, honestly, he's still a mystery to me, man. Uh, but, you know, we'll have a lot of answers on the night to see how good that he really is. So who wins? Before I give my pick on this fight, I have something real quick to share. You know, I'm always looking to bring more light, more value, more opportunities for the community. I've been working on a few different things in recent weeks to not just grow the channel, but as I said, to continue to provide as much value as I can to each of you in our community. With that being said, I got some exciting news to share. I'm happy to announce my partnership with BetStamp and Sign Up Expert. It's a great opportunity for you to join some of the best sports books to get the best odds and new user offer. All you have to do is head over to my dedicated page at signupexpert.com slash the breakdown to explore a selection of sports books tailored to your region, each with its own unique offerings. So if you want to place a bet this weekend and on this fight and beyond, check out the link to find the best options for you in your region. Every sign up does support the channel and it helps the channel grow and to expand and to create more opportunities, not just for me, but for our community. You know, I'm always looking out for you guys as best as I can. You can easily find the link in the description below this videos and videos moving forward forward so get down there and check it out and find the best option for you now let's get back to the video so a couple things that i found interesting in this matchup man macquarie's resume is nowhere near that of lamont roach jr man i mean as early as last year he was fighting six round fights this year he's fought a 10 round fight so that's just very interesting to me and you look at his resume and it's kind of um similar to how a fighter who was kind of just turning pro would fight you know guys with modest records on their resume you know fighters that are you know oh and six or two and four or five and two like that type of competition but the six round fight for 15 of his fights is just very interesting to me. Obviously, anything can happen in boxing. Um, the right shot at the right time can close out the show in any given moment. It's the fight game. Anything can happen, which is why we can't rule any possibility out. You know, it's just very interesting. And he's also a guy that fights, fluctuates between 130 and 135. Two fights before he was at 135. Last fight he was at 130. This fight is at 130. But man, I think this is a massive step up from Requari in competition and in rounds. You know, um, I'm 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 having a hard time seeing how he's gonna get the job done here, you know. Obviously, as I said, anything can happen, but man, if Roach is who he thinks that he is, he needs to come in and dominate on the night.
I like Lamont Roche to win this fight by stoppage. I am someone who doesn't look at fights in the emotional standpoint, man. I look at it from a factual standpoint, their history, and I try to rewrite and rewire things, watch their styles and see if it makes sense. And I go with that. I just haven't seen enough from Macquarie to makes me think and believe that he can beat Lamont Roche. But anything can happen. This is why, fighters, you have to fight on the night, and we'll see how it goes. But, yeah, Macquarie's uh, on an up, 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 uphill battle in this one, man. I like Lamont Roche Jr. to win this fight by stoppage. So those are my thoughts. I would love to hear from you. What's your thoughts on this fight? Who do you have winning this one? Let me know in the comment section below. I don't always get to do all the suggested videos you guys suggest in the comment section below, but if you become a member, those suggested videos rise to the top and I will do my best to get those done for you that week. Or if you'd like to become a member just to show love and to support the channel, man, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. There's also ways that you can support the channel, whether you want to donate, whether you want to share, like, comment, whatever it is that you show support the best. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated, man. So if you've been watching the video this long, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and we'll definitely see you next time.